Good morning, adventurers. Good morning. Is it a beautiful day out here or what? It's so sunny. Holy cow, I love this is it. incredible. It's summertime, you guys. Yes. I'm just actually scared of getting a sunburn, so I'm wearing a jacket. <laughs> That's why I got the old uh, not wake up hat back on. If you guys caught our last video, we finished this amazing roof. and It's it, so white. Yeah, it, it's blinding me right now, honestly. <laughs> it turned out so good, you guys, and we're gonna show you the results of that in just a bit. There's also one key mistake that we made that we're gonna show you as well. You gotta make mistakes, yes. right? Well, with us, that's the default. Ha happy little accidents, <laughs> right? That's what they call them? But in our last video, we also mentioned how we are planning, finally, to do another group trip for 2022. We had that survey link that a bunch of you guys filled out. Thank mm -hmm. you so much for helping us plan this yeah, trip. Yeah, y'all gave us some amazing responses responses. There were a few destinations that y'all really wanted to go to, so it was kind of hard to narrow it down. Yeah. But we have decided, at least on the first trip, hopefully it'll be the first of many, but we're going to... Dig it, dig it, dig it, Should I put drum roll sound effect? Yeah. Insert drum roll sound effect. Bali! We're going to Bali! We're going to Bali! Oh if you guys are long-term followers of our channel, you know that we absolutely love Bali. It's like mm -hmm. one of our favorite places to go yeah. and chill, relax, ride scooters, eat delicious food. We're gonna hit up volcanoes, hot springs, do some island hopping, eat delicious yeah. food. We're gonna be going to temples. Mm -mm -mm. We're gonna be doing all the best things you can do in Bali. And we'll see you there, hopefully, maybe. With the biggest bintang in hand, our swimsuits and flippers on, lots of sunscreen, yeah. it's gonna be a good old time. You got a bug on your face. Oh no. There he goes. <laughs> we actually have a link on the screen right now mm -hmm. and in the description below. If you're interested in coming on this trip, you can enter your email in on that page. We're actually gonna have eight early bird spots where you're gonna get a discount on the price of the trip. The people who are on the email list are gonna be the first people to be notified when the trip goes live. Yes. And that's gonna be tomorrow from when this video is posted. Wednesday. 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 So if you wanna be the first notified, sign up on this link right here or in the description, or a pinned comment somewhere down there. Yes. You'll find it. The project we're gonna be working on the, in this video is painting. We're finally gonna be painting the interior, you guys. I think we mentioned that in our last video, but yep. man, we never thought we would get to this point. Man, <laughs> it's all becoming so real, I you know. guys. A lot of you are asking, when the heck are you guys actually gonna take a trip in this thing? It's gonna be later this month, yes, later in May. We are finally month. hitting the road with this thing. We have made a commitment that we cannot back out of. Yes. <laughs> so we will be on the road, and so we have been busting in our booties trying to finish this, and I think I think we're on track. Yeah. All right, enough talking. I cannot wait to show you guys how this roof turned out. Ah! Never thought I'd be so excited about an RV roof. I know. <laughs> this is it's what my life has beautiful. become. We now have this rubber film over the top of the RV. This is the, how it's meant to work. It's meant to just make it like you almost have a cohesive layer of rubber on top of it. And it did the trick. Look at this thing, you guys. This thing is not gonna be leaking, that's for sure. But there was one mistake we made. You gotta be really careful when you have different compounds interacting with each other. And uh, there's a certain type of roof sealant from a company called Dicor that you can use with this rubber roof. And I knew that, but then I used a different type of sealant. I just assumed they would work together and they didn't. I ended up using this Loctite Marine sealant to seal this patch over here. And look what happened when it interacted with the roof rubberizer. It kind of started peeling up. Oh no. So that was kind of a fail. So we're trying to decide if I'm just gonna redo this patch altogether or just throw some more sealant on top of it. <laughs> sealant that works with the rubberizer. Yeah. I think that's the only spot where anything like that happened. The rest of it's looking pretty solid. But other than that, this is done. It's awesome. <laughs> I had no idea the potential for this roof. Yeah, it looks brand new, you guys. New-ish, you know. That's enough fresh air for one day. We're gonna go inside the RV. We're gonna start prepping. We got a lot of prep work to do before we can actually start painting. So no more fresh air from here on out. <laughs> Just gas masks and fumes and a bunch of nasty crap. Yay! Let's go. Listen to Selena Gomez today. Yeah, Man, we that's just the music of choice. Run the gamut, but we will pause you. We're trying to decide exactly what we're gonna paint, what color, we gotta tape off everything, we gotta fill a bunch of holes. Ooh. We actually have some really fancy wallpaper that we're gonna use as kind of the backsplash for here mm -hmm. and here, but it doesn't go over raw wood, so we actually have to put varnish on certain spots. We also have our new floor and our new ceiling that we're going to attempt to not get paint on. All right, let's get taping. So we've gotten everything all prepped inside the RV. We uh, covered the entire floor because we are not getting paint on our brand new floor, no, you guys. dang it. We're at Menards and we're trying to figure out how we wanna attack this paint job. And there are a lot of options. You've got like the traditional types of rollers, you've got microfiber, you've got foam rollers, and they all kind of produce a different type of finish on the wall. I think ultimately we're gonna go with foam. 
we have tested the foam on a few other items that we've painted in the past and it seems to give us the finish that we're wanting so foam it is yeah foam pro baby yeah we're gonna be foam pros when this is all over probably <laughs> all suited up you guys we have to do some sanding we did sand most of these wall panels before we put them in but just to be sure we're going to go over it all one more time with 220 just to make sure it's the smoothest possible surface for our paint we also got a random orbital sander finally these are much better than the crappy one we, we were using yeah. Your turn. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have fun in there? Oh yeah. <laughs> Looks a little dusty. Tons of fun. <laughs> By the way, how do you guys like Alice in the shirt? <laughs> <laughs> Alien pizza. What's not to like about that, huh? Looks like you've been working hard. <laughs> what is this? Dirty jobs with <laughs> Mike Rowe? <laughs> Your hair is white. <laughs> Yeah, because I was so stressed out in there. It went, it went white from the RV. <laughs> Don't worry, I got you. Good as new. <laughs> I feel like my butt has uh, been in a lot of our shots lately. <laughs> Sorry, or you're welcome. I don't know. <laughs> Look who it is, y'all. Made it's it. Mr. Matt. Made it. Did you bring the stuff? Brought the stuff. This has become our Friday tradition. He comes with high noon you know hard seltzer <laughs> and he likes to uh you know get in there work hard help us out oh yeah I, i'm uh, really exhausting myself standing around judging and well you came prepared <laughs> to work <laughs> yes the white tennis shoes really tip it off i'm just goofing when he gets here the work's done you guys check out what matt just showed me this is what he's getting into he's becoming a beekeeper <laughs> well we'll see how it goes i don't want to get myself stung too much that's but pretty cool though. I've got the protective gear at least to not <laughs> die. <laughs> Cheers. Yeah, to Friday. So we've just been sanding. We fixed a lot of little problems, filled in some um, cracks that we might have made by accidentally bashing things. We didn't get to painting today, but we got a lot done. And now I think we are finally really prepped to paint tomorrow. Yeah. Tomorrow. We'll get there eventually. One day we'll Stay paint. Stay tuned. In this video, <laughs> we're going to paint. Just kidding. Yeah, big slap on. Hey guys, look what just arrived. Oh my, my god. Yes. yes, bittersweet because I had to buy a new freaking camera, but problem solved. <laughs> this one was actually a loaner from Sony, which I was supposed to return yesterday, but then I wouldn't have had a camera, so I had to wait till I got this one. Sorry, Sony. Sorry, Sony. Yeah. Are you filming vertically? <laughs> that was supposed to be a horizontal shot. That's not Anyway, what I was saying was we have this tight lens. We don't have the wide angle. And look right. at me, I'm, I'm filming right. right This now. is over, we're heading back to the RV and we're freaking painting. <laughs> okay, bye. It's officially time to paint, you guys. The moment has come and we're actually terrified because there's no <laughs> going back now. So we settled on this slightly warm white Dutch Boy Forever paint. This stuff is super cool because built-in primer, like a lot of paints are these days, and it's got the stain blocking technology. So technically, if you get crap on it, you should be able to just wipe it right off. It's also um, mildew resistant and it was the lowest VOC option that they had at Menards. That just means it off gasses less chemicals, which is always a good thing, right? <laughs> going up there oh it's going great i feel like very few people know how to properly paint we're not in that group of people <laughs> <laughs> it's just really hard to make sure you don't get lap marks and uh this paint actually is designed to do two coats so i'm pretty sure all this these imperfections are going to get covered up by the second coat anyway but we're almost done with the first coat check it do a little paint yeah. around the room by the way, we're on our phone because my um, memory card filled up on this camera here. <laughs> when will we ever learn and stop having camera yeah. problems? Well, you guys, it's hard to do all this filming and do all this stuff at the same time. I just always end up forgetting stuff. But yeah, do a little paint around and show yeah. me what's going on. So we have this lovely wall and cabinet done. All those. These undone spots are 
gonna be other colors or things. It looks already 10 times better in here. It's insane. It's so bright. It's so bright. It's actually like 9 p.m. You guys, time completely got away from us and we wanted to make sure we got this first coat. So we're gonna finish up here and then we're gonna have to come back tomorrow or the day after tomorrow probably and do a second coat. And I guess we'll see you guys then. <laughs> What are you doing, Mr. Turtle? Oh, look at him! <laughs> hey, little buddy! What should we name him? Freaking out. Little Ralph, Ralph the Turtle? Yeah. All right. Oh. <laughs> you ever just wonder why the turtle crossed the road? <laughs> to get to the other side. Gosh, dang How's it. How's that for a joke? <laughs> We're back. It is the next day, and we are ready to continue painting, Woo! you guys. We actually didn't finish the first coat, so we still have some places like the closet and stuff that we have to paint and put the next coat on everything else that we have painted. And then we're gonna be done for the most part. We'll be like 80% of the way there. Yeah. There's still a bunch of other little touch-ups that we have to do. Yeah, it's looking pretty good. We did a, an okay job. I'm hoping our second coat will uh, even out some of these areas. Like we said, we are not experts at uh, painting, but we're mm -hmm. trying our darndest here. But we're in kind of a time crunch because I have to go home and edit this video. So we're trying <laughs> to get this done very quickly. So I think we're just going to do a bunch of time lapses and spare you guys all the painful details of us painting this entire thing. <laughs> it's really what we did last night, just all over again. Yeah. <laughs> so here we go. <laughs> This thing has been a bit of a learning process. This is our first time really using foam uh, to paint this much surface area. The reason we picked this is because from what we read, it can give you one of the smoother finishes, but there's kind of a technique to it. It's pretty hard to, to nail it down. Basically, we just put a thick bit of paint on there and then you just have to really slowly and delicately just kind of do this final pass. And then that seems to kind of flatten the wall. And the spots that are drying are looking, it's semi-glossy, so they're slightly glossy, but they're looking pretty flat, so I think I don't know, how are you feeling about it? Are you feeling <laughs> confident? Um, more confident today. There was a lot of uh, irregularity showing through yesterday, but the second coat seems to be doing the trick. If you guys have painted before, you've probably had the same experience, but it's just so easy to just, to just go over again and then be like, oh, there's a little imperfection. Then again, then you make another imperfection. Then again, it's just like you're on the same spot like this over and over trying to get it perfect. <laughs> because once it's dry, it's like set in stone, you know? Or set in paint, I guess. <laughs> At the end of the day, we just got to get it done and no one's going to be going to the wall and being like, Ooh, oh yeah, I see a mistake here. I see a little hair stuck in the wall right there. If you guys ever come on our RV, you better not look that closely and stuff. Oh, I just got paint on me. Oh, Dang. you should see your back. Really? <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Holy cow, you guys, I got a ton of paint in my hair. Oh my God. This is what it's going to oh! look like when you're old and gray. Oh geez, oh, I hope that comes out. <laughs> yeah, look, I'm all salt and pepper now. Ooh. I think we decided to make this kind of a two-parter because we got a lot done, but not everything we wanted to get no. done. And we ran out of paint just yeah, now. We so did. we, I guess, are at a good stopping point. Almost everything has its second coat, mm -hmm. and then there are other things we want to paint other colors. So I guess yeah. we'll pick it up and do that in the next video. Yeah, we're also going to start working on all of our cabinet fronts and all the little finishing polish touches. Yes. Yeah, I'm so excited. countertops in. We also have these little beams that we're going to use to cover these seams. Mm -hmm. The the beam, the seam beam. <laughs> <laughs> um, they're out there and we stained them up and we're just going to attach those. We just needed to paint it first, but we're going to do yeah. that in our next video as well. And then we can put in trim and then yeah. we'll be on the road just like that. Yeah. Goodbye, adventures. We'll see you on the road.